So I looked dead at my pops and thought, you know what? I can stand toe to toe with my pops. Now since I wasn't going to make the first move, I got into my three point defense dance. So my pop looks dead at me and swings the sh Now before we get started, let's get to the bag. This video is sponsored by Monster Legends. Monster Legends is a free to play game available both on Android and iOS. First, you start by building a world for your monsters to live and fill it with habits. Then, you're finally ready to start collecting monsters and start building your army. See in Monster Legends, there are hundreds of different monsters to collect, which can be collected with different rarities and elements such as fire, water, magic, and metal. And the best part is you can breed monsters of different elements and rarities to create cool new species, and the combinations are limitless. Furthermore, there are also super cool monsters created in collaboration with some of the biggest YouTubers like Dream, Mr. Beast, Jack Septi, and many more. So level up your monsters, choose which skill you want them to have and create the best team. And put your strategy to test in action packed battles. There are different PvP modes where you can conquer the adventure map, explore the dungeons, or even fight in real time against your friends. In addition, you can team up with other monster masters to chat, strategize, and fight epic team wars, which can be done on new events every week to discover and play new adventures. But that's not all, oh no! If you download the game through the link in the description, you will also get an amazing reward which can help you get a head start and speed up your leveling process. And just by clicking the download link, you will receive 50,000 food, 300,000 gold, 10 gems, and the epic monster Kauri. But remember, this is a limited time reward available until November the 24th. There's three things in life you never forget. Your first kiss, your first, <clears throat> well, you know, first time jumping on a bed. Come on, my guy, get your mind out the gutter. And the last ass whooping of your life. See, they say there's no such thing as a bad kid, in which I sort of agree, because we all a product of our environment. But come on, my guy! There is such thing as bad parents, and there's no debate, bad parenting results in badass kids. Simply put, if you grow up in an undisciplined household, odds are you're gonna lack self-discipline. But I'll read the comments. Some people say physical punishments are necessary, while others say it's all abuse. All I'm saying is, it worked for me. See, pain is a proven and significant deterrent. For example, your mother warns you not to touch the hot stove, but you don't listen because you a kid. So you touch it and your ass is on fire, thereby learning to never touch a hot stove. Pain. Now on the contrary, we have time out. You get in trouble, your parents send you to your room, and you get to chill and watch the hub all night, my guy, with no interruptions. Sounds like the dream. See, success is a product of the three Ds. Determination, dedication, and discipline. But the choice is yours. You either suffer the pain of discipline or suffer the pain of regret. Which brings us to the main question. At what age are you too old for an ass whooping? And that, my guy, is where this story begins. So for this story, I'm gonna take you back, back to the last ass whooping of my life. So one night your boy was chilling at the crib. Now this was a Friday night, right after our school football game. Now as usual, after the game, I would go back to the crib and call it a night. But not this beautiful night. See, while attending the game, your boy was shooting his shots on this nice little shorty. Gee, now, ooh, wee, baby. You bad. From the tips of your toes to the depths of your soul. Mm. What you doing later? Oh, nothing. Check this out, girl. I got a twin size bed, some ramen noodles, and this dick. You should come over. Hmm, I don't know. Look, I don't really say this to any girl, but I really like you. Really? Now, when you drop the L word in high school, like guys, not love, shorties be feeling you. So, since this was my lucky night, my girl Gina decides to let your boy get some play. So we slid over to the crib, got outside, but before entering the house, I had to hit Gina with the G-code. Okay, Gina, I gotta go inside and check if my parents are asleep, okay? 
okay. Now, if you ever snuck into the crib, you know you gotta be on your James Bondish. So first thing, I gently open the back window. Okay, cool. Coast is clear. Then I entered the crib all while tiptoeing to my parents' room. So I took a good look inside my parents' room, and with my luck, I find my mom and dad asleep. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. It's about to be lit. Thank you, God. So I got back outside to get my girl Gina. Psst, Gina, we're good, girl. But just be discreet, okay? Okay. So we get inside the house and start discreetly ascending towards my room. But then I notice we got a little situation. See, at the time, my parents had just switched the flooring from carpet to hardwood floors. Now, if you know anything about upstairs hardwood floors, you know they give a little noise. Gina, you gotta take your shoes off. Why? Just trust me. So Gina and I proceed to take our shoes off and we continue to sneak into my room. So we get inside, lock the door. Phew, we did it, girl. So what do you want to do? So I look deep into Gina's eye, move slowly towards her, and followed the 90-10 rule by moving 90% in all while letting her come the remaining 10%. Our lips touch and mm, gave her a kiss to blow her mind. Wow, Tim, that was incredible. You're a great kisser. <laughs> well, you know, I know a little something, something. Now, it was time for the second base. All right, Tim, everything's going according to plan. Gina's down, room's locked. Let's go for the home run. But before getting to the action, I heard some noise coming from the kitchen. Gina, did you hear that? Hear what? Shh. Oh, man. I think someone's in the kitchen. We gotta be quiet. Oh, man. I sure was thirsty. Wait a minute. Oh, those? Then I heard footsteps coming towards my room. Oh, no. Dear God, please don't let anyone walk into this room. Please. Then I heard. Oh, shh. Okay, Tim. Play sleep. Don't open the door. Once again, I heard a knock on the door. Damn, what do I do? If I make Gina hide under the bed, whoever's outside's gonna hear us move. Okay, I'll just keep playing sleep. Then I heard the lock on the door being opened from the outside. Oh my God. So I slowly put Gina inside the large comforter and played sleep. A few moments later, the door opens and I hear someone getting closer to the side of my bed. Okay, Tim, start snoring and play dead sleep. So I start snoring. Boy, do you think I'm stupid? Mm-mm. Don't you dare open your eyes, boy. Tim, I'm not going to ask you again. Damn, I'm caught. What do I do? So I open my eyes, and to my surprise, my pops is holding Gina's shoes with his hands. Nigga, this girl left her shoes on the stairway. Young lady, you need to leave now. Yes, sir. So Gina gets the stuff and dips. Bye, Tim. Now here we are, me and my pops, and Mans is ready to beat my ass. You already know what time it is. Drop those pants. No. What? I said no. Oh, you're bad now. See, in life, there comes a time when a boy finally becomes a man, thereby standing up for himself for the first time. Dad, you're not going to whoop me. Oh, is that right? You're telling me what I'm going to do in my house. See, what my pops didn't know is, I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. Your boy's been hitting them waist for this moment, and the whooping stops today. See, I was no longer that scrawny little kid. Oh no, my guy, I'm that nigga. And it's time my pop puts some respect to my name. So I looked dead at my pops and thought, you know what? I can stand toe to toe with my pops. Now, since I wasn't going to make the first move, I got into my three-point defense dance. So my pop looks dead at me and swings the shit out of that belt. But like I said, I'm that nigga. So I catch the belt with one arm just to show my pops your boys bought that action. See, the days of looking up to my dad were long gone and my pops knew it. Now we're face to face, eye to eye, chest to chest, man to man. Okay, son, sure you now man. Yep, oh, okay. Then we're going to have to change some rules. Um, yeah, it's about time. First, rent's due on the first of the month. What? Oh, yeah. You're a man now, right? Then you've got the water bill, heat bill, cable bill, electricity bill, insurance bill, phone bill. Hold up, pops. I don't know about all that. Oh, you're a man now, right? Yeah, but... But what? I can't afford all that. Then drop those pants. Boy, you out here sticking girls into my house? Got me thinking someone broke in? Do you even think before you act? Ah! And there you have it, the last whooping of my life. So, moral of the story, 
a parent can only put you in the right path, but the final forming of a person's character lies within their hands. What's up, world? Thank you for joining your boy for another video. First thing first, don't forget to download Monster Legends before November the 24th using the link in the description and collect your reward. Now, as for the shout outs, well, my bad, guys. I lost my phone. There's no shout outs this week, but stay tuned. I got more coming, all right? Just keep doing what y'all doing. Subscribe to the channel, follow your boy on IG, and send me that screenshot. And your boy will make sure to give you the best opportunity to get a shout out. As always, live timeless.